This is the practical class. Uh, first movement is forearm supination. The muscles for forearm supination, supinata and biceps bracket. The range of motion for the supination 0 to 80 degree. So to test the supination movement, the patient position like this high sitting and the arm rested on the table. The arm rested on the table. Okay, then this elbow. The elbow is flexed 90 degree. Elbow is flexed 90 degree to perform supination. Right. The starting position should be in pronation. The starting position should be in pronation. Right. The therapist support at the elbow. Therapist give support at the elbow. I saw during the practical some of you not to touch the patient. What you are telling, right? Standing somewhere away from the patient and please do uh, supination. This is correct? No. This is absolutely wrong. So two mistakes in this. Mistake number one, you not touching the patient for grade three. But grade four and five, you are touching the patient. But grade three, you are not touching. So remember, grade three, you should touch. Grade three, you should touch the patient. Right? Grade three. Right. Now, after this stabilization is given, grade 3, now we should ask the patient like this, do supination. This is correct? No. Patient know what is do supination? No. 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 Please yes. turn your palm no. like this. If patient don't know, show, show to the patient like this. Okay. Yes, this is grade 3. Yes. What is grade 3, Shabab? Full, full, range. full range of motion. Yeah. Tell everybody, full range of motion. Yeah. 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 Movements with against gravity. Uh, no resistance. No resistance. No resistance. Okay, that is grade 3 is done. Now grade 4. What is grade 4? Tell everybody. Full range of motion. Movement against gravity. So now, now I am going to do grade 4. So now you should do the same movement. But I will give little resistance to the opposite side. You should overcome. Okay. So for to do this, you have to give shaken like this. So somehow, when you give shaken like this, like this, it is wrong. So how to give shaken? Use these two fingers to stabilize the wrist. If you not stabilize the wrist, then wrist. the movement, wrist movement, no wrist will get strain. Wrist will get strain. So patient will do like this. I will do like this. Opposite. So wrist joint ligaments will get strain. So to avoid wrist movement and wrist strain, we should lock the wrist. We using these two fingers, we should lock it. Now wrist will not move. We can move only forearm. Understand? Yes. Like this. So now grade four minimal resistance. So you should do like this up okay but i will resist like this down okay please do it do it good 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 come on good like this okay this is grade four grade five what is grade five four full range of motion against gravity so you should do the same movement now i will give more resistance okay please do it do it do it do it do it do it good okay do it good because i should i should be like this okay because taking video because that's why wrist there is a flexion should not be flexion wrist flexion should not be can you come this side like this yes. resist just hold the wrist okay yes now yeah do it do it do it do it do it do it so now no wrist flexion yes like this so grade three grade four grade five now grade two for grade two patient position like this high sitting keep shoulder slightly flexion and elbow 90 degree flexion to start this is mid prone position not complete pronation <coughs> mid position right please right support the should elbow should support. one hand please like this okay turn your palm towards your face okay like this okay this is grade two what is grade two full range of motion gravity eliminated no resistance okay please turn yes this is grade two which one supination okay grade one again bring it like this okay now you have to palpate supinator muscle here supinator muscle palpation so below the below elbow lateral side below elbow lateral side supinator huh? here only muscle is small muscle it is not origin we have to palpate here because insertion point you cannot because it will go deep insertion in exam palpate was in origin or insertion in insertion because origin you cannot get any movement where the movement will start for the muscle, muscle the movement will start muscle belly then will go to distal down so the resistance the palpation should be where in the insertion area palpation should be in the insertion 
area. That is the correct answer. So we have to palpate here supination. So supination movement is finished. Now we will go with the pronation movement. Pronation movement. So uh, the muscles are pronate arteries and the pronate quadratus. Range of motion 0 to 80 degree. Patient position like this high sitting. Therapist position towards the testing side. Right? So to do pronation for grade 3. Right? We should start grade 3 only for every movement. Again grade 3. What is grade 3? Full range of motion. Against, against gravity energy. movement. No and resistance. no resistance. Okay. To do this patient palm should be up. That so is supination. Forearm should be in supine position. Proceed. So we have to give stability in the elbow. So here please do palm down movement. Yes. This is grade 3. No resistance. Now grade 4. What is grade 4? Full range of motion. Movements. Against gravity movement. Minimal resistance. So again, give like this. Okay. So please do like this, but I will up do opposite movement. Okay. Yeah. Do it. 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 This is grade do four. Anything this or this? Patient should do one side. Therapist will do opposite side. Okay. If you are if you are doing exam pronation, patient will do pronation. Therapist will do opposite. So pronation. Okay. So like this. Now grade 5. What is grade 5? Full range of motion against gravity movement. Maximum, maximum resistance. Okay. Like this. I will give resistance more. You should overcome. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Good. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. This is grade 5. Now grade 2. So patient position is sitting like this. Shoulder is flexed 45 to 90 degree. Elbow is flexed 90 degree. So starting position is like this. Mid, mid position. Like this, mid position, therapist should support the elbow. Like this. Okay, please turn your palm away, away from your face. Like this. This is the pronation. So, if it is turned towards the face, supination. From here, if you turn, this is the pronation. Okay, like this. Okay, pronation. This is grade 2. Grade 1. Grade 1, first pronator teres. Pronator teres here, somewhere middle. From elbow, 2 inch down to elbow, we have to palpate here. Pronation. Pronator teres. Pronator quadratus, we have to palpate 1 inch above the wrist joint. Here quadratus, here pronator teres. Okay? Right. Now, going into the third movement of today's class, wrist flexion. So, the muscles for wrist flexion, flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris. The range of motion is 0 to 80 degree. Okay? So, please turn, keep it here. Let me do this side. So the patient position like this, like this high sitting, right? The forearm, the forearm should be rested on the table, should be rested on the table, right? So first to do wrist flexion, grade three, the forearm should be kept in mid position, mid prone position. Therapist should support. Therapist should support. So fingers should be relaxed. Don't keep tight. Okay, keep it relaxed. Okay, now grade 3, full range of motion against gravity <coughs> movement, no resistance. Please bend your wrist like this. This is grade 3. Is it correct? No. Why not? With, not with gravity. This is not with gravity, so it is wrong. So, for grade 3, movement should be against gravity, wrist flexion. So, the wrist should be kept in supination position. The palm should be up. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Now, right? Stabilize here. Stabilize the wrist, forearm. We are above the wrist. Okay. Now, keep fingers relaxed. Please do like this. No, 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 no. Just, we are doing both the muscles now. Not only one muscles. Please do bend. Yes, this is grade 3. Okay. Grade 4. We have to give resistance. Resistance here like this. Resistance here like this. For all. For all, I am holding all the fingers. Yes. Not only ulnar finger or not only radial fingers. I am holding all. Okay, please, you have to do like this movement. I will go downwards, but you have to overcome. This is for grade 4. Full range of motion against gravity movement. Yes, sir. Minimal resistance. Yes, sir. Please bend like this. Wrist flexion. Please bend, 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 bend. Like this. Okay. This is grade 3. Uh, grade 4. Grade? 4, 4. 4. Very good. Grade 5. So you have to do same bending movement. I will give maximal resistance. Please bend, 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 like this. Now grade two, full range of motion, elimination gravity, no resistance. For this, keep mid-prone position. Change the position. So please bend like this. 
Yes, this is grade two. Grade one, we have to touch where here, wrist area, no. For flexor carpi radialis, touch the radial side. Flexor carpi alaris, touch the alar side. Okay. Now moving into extension, wrist extension. Okay. So for the wrist extension, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi alaris. The range of motion is zero to seventy degrees, ten degrees less. So to start this. The forearm should be kept in the pronation position. So the arm should be, the forearm should be supported. Now from this, right, the patient should do like this up. Grade three, full range of motion against gravity, no resistance. Please do up like this. Yes. Right. Now grade four, resistance will be given like this, full resistance. Okay. Grade four, do up, 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 up. Now grade five, maximal resistance. Up, 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 like this. Okay. Now grade two, elimination gravity, right? No resistance and full range of motion. Like this, hold it. Forearm supported. Please do it from this position to like this. Yes, this is grade two. Grade one, we should palpate again. Extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. Radial side. Extensor carpi ulnaris here ulnar side. Okay, mm. palpation. Now, if you want to, see, if you want to test first, flexor carpi radialis only. Flexor carpi radial is only for flexion. I told both together. Now only one muscle, flexor carpi radialis, because flexor carpi radial is supplied by median nerve. We want to test separate. Please for grade three, please you have to bend like this. Sorry, bend like this. Bend like this. Okay. Please bend like this. Very good. This is flexor carpi radialis grade three. Grade four. Here I will give resistance. The muscle is here. Alna is here. We are testing now flexor carpi radialis. Okay? Nice. Right. Now resistance I will be give where? Here. Finger. Which finger side? No. Thumb side. So I will give downward and like this. Alna side. Please bend. 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 No. Nicely bend. Bend like this. Towards the thumb side. Okay. Bend. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. So this is grade 4. Grade 5. Maximal resistance. Do. 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 Like this. Only we can do separate muscles. Grade 3, 4 and 5. Grade 2, no. Grade 2, no separate action. No separate, we cannot do. Now flexor carpi, ulnaris. So patient should do like this. Flexion. Ulnar side flexion. Grade 3, please do it. Very good. Now, grade 4, I will give resistance where in the, here. Okay, please bend. I will give extension and I'll radial side. Okay, yeah, bend, 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 bend. Like this. Now same way, extensor, right? Extensor carpi radial is longest, extensor carpi radial is brevis. Here, right? Do extension like this. Towards the thumb side. Extension towards the thumb side. Please do it. Yes, very good. This is grade three. Grade four, I will give resistance here. Where in the thumb side. I will do flexion and ulnar side. Yeah, extension. Do, 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 like this. Okay. Same way. Extensor carpi ulnaris. So patient should do extension in the ulnar side. Extension in the ulnar side. Okay, please do it. Grade three. Grade four. Resistance. Where in the four and five metatarsal towards the flexion and radial side. Not only flexion. I should give radial side. Okay, please do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. This is four and grade five. Use four fingers. Okay. Two one zero. Two one zero. Not there. No. Or separate muscle. Not there. Two one zero is there only for whole muscle. Either wrist extension or wrist flexion. Okay, Shabab? Okay. Any doubts? Any question?